Welcome to Shop Local, Support Local. Today we are in Tyrone, Georgia at the Yellow Daisy Antiques and Decor. It's a cute little store and I cannot wait to show you around. Today we are at the Yellow Daisy Antique and Decor in Tyrone, Georgia. It's right on Sonoya Road. Hi, I'm Daphne Bousquet with Fade and Peachtree City Homes and Lifestyles. Today we are talking to Jeremy Sweeney, one of the owners of the Yellow Daisy Antiques and Decor. And you are going to love this little store that has everything you need for this hol holiday season and beyond. Uh, just a couple days ago on my Facebook memories, um, a memory popped up where me and my brother uh, had opened up our first antique booth at Fairburn Antique Mall, and it was 10 or 11 years ago, so it really kind of all got started back then. Uh, me and my brother Cody uh, just kind of got the antique bug, so we started buying and selling antiques, and you know, we rented a little tiny 10 by 10 booth, not even the size of where I'm standing right now in Fairburn at the Fairburn Antique Mall, and uh, our dream was always to have our own shop as a family. We're all from here in Tyrone, this is where we grew up and live. And um, a friend of mine had a spot open here in his uh, one of his buildings here in town and, and asked if we wanted to, to open up a shop. And we were all over, we were so excited. And we've just poured into it for the last two and a half years and uh, kind of try to build it into something that we could be proud of and, and a part of the community here. And we've just really enjoyed it. So we're kind of standing in front of one of our sections where we have some real antiques that are, you know, original pieces between the lanterns um, the old, um, you know, Prince Albert cans, um, and, you know, different shoemaking equipment. Of course, there's a few things in the back that are, that are reproduction pieces, but, um, you know, this is just kind of the stuff that we love. The old traffic lights, um, old stuff. I want to kind of put an emphasis that, that we're one of the places around that still got some antiques. So if you look over here, um, the old Hoosier cabinet, um, I mean, no telling how old that is. And one of my favorite pieces in the whole shop is this little um, cabinet right here. It's kind of covered up with some of our signs. But I mean, that's an original piece that we got out of a farmhouse over in, where was that? Um, almost like Griffin area that uh, was actually gonna be torn down. And the family saw an ad where we buy antiques and called us and said, our family farmhouse, we've finally sold it and we have to get the stuff out or it's gonna be torn down with the house um, when they redevelop the land. And, we were able to go in and buy up several pieces and kind of give it new life and hopefully find a new home where somebody will be able to appreciate it for another 100 years. Um, so yeah, the antiques are you know really important to us. We want to always make sure that um, you know in our shop we've got real antique pieces. But then we love the decor stuff as well, and I think that's always kind of been my mom's dream for a long time to be able to have a place like this where. We can put cute stuff or things that people would, would want to have in their houses. And then maybe one of my favorite things uh, that we've tried to do here as a store uh, is work with local vendors to bring um, local products from Coweta and Fayette County um, here to Tyrone so that people can come in and shop. So um, Hillbilly Crack Sauce are some really good friends of mine from Noonan, Georgia. Um, they make the best pickles and barbecue sauces ever. Um, so we love being able to have them in here. Uh, Meredith at Mid Georgia Candle. I mean, I think she does the most incredible candles in the whole world. Um, we had an opportunity to maybe bring in some of the bigger candle companies. Um, and we decided to go with Mid Georgia because we think their stuff's incredible. And we were really, really proud of this. She was willing to put our label on the uh, top of the can. And you know, for us as a family, this kind of doing this as a hobby, something that we love. Um, that was really special to us to be able to have our logo on something. The people at Country Junction, I mean, they are incredible. They have really built, uh, I think, their brand with their uh, goat milk soaps and lotions. I mean, this stuff is incredible. We can't keep it in here. Um, you know, just sells so so great. They're out of uh, Sonoy. We love having their product. And then the local honey. This stuff is from about, I don't know, four or five miles from here. It's made here in Tyrone. Uh, well, the honeybees are here in Tyrone. Uh, they do all of the producing. We, we can't take any credit for that. And uh, one of our friends um, has, we rented him a little spot. He's done a um, barbecue section. And these are some of the best rubs in the country. Uh, he makes that salsa here in Tyrone. Um, his name's Dusty. But, uh, you know, this is just some stuff that was special to us. We wanted to, to be a part of this community and we wanted to work with other people that were part of this community. and. Uh, you know, just be able to kind of bring it all together. We met a lot of these people down at the Peachtree City Market. Um, 
So these are just community people that we were able to work with um, just to kind of be part of the part of the town. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Yellow Daisy in our Shop Local Support Local series. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss a video. They come out every Monday. So I'll see you next week.